now uh, Magdalena uh, is taking care of the CPT tubes that will be used for uh, processing of PBMC. She's now mixing uh, the, the blood with the uh, citrate, that's anticoagulantia, in, in the tubes. Ten times. This is the first spin of a PBMC process and they will be in the centrifuge for uh, 20, 20 minutes. minutes. So now the first spin for the PBMC process is finished and Magdalena is uh, taking up the samples from the centrifuge. She is sorting them by subject. Now, uh, now there are, have, have been, there are different layers in the tube. She is now walking to the sterile room where she will uh, process the samples in the hood. Here she has uh, done some preparation for the PBMC process. And then we have a look at the, a tube and uh, to, to look at the different layers in the tube. the upper layer which is the plasma and then there is a layer with that contains the PBMCs uh, and then there is a gel barrier and in the bottom there are the red blood cells. The, we will use the red blood cells from the kids that have donated samples on the yearly samples, like eight years, nine years, and so on. Now Magdalena will harvest the plasma that will be taken care of uh, one centimeter, yes. Yeah. Oh. She has to leave some plasma above the white blood cells, not to get any white blood cells in the plasma. And, and now Magdalena is harvesting the white blood cells from this subject. She's now adding the RPM in media to the tube to collect all the remaining white blood cells. The PBMCs will be washed two times with the spins in between. Yes, 
So um, Magdalena is just telling that she will remove the supernatant and in the bottom there are the pellet of a PVMCs. Magdalena is showing two different tubes. The one to the left contains a, a small pellet because it was less blood volume. And the one to the right it contains a bigger pellet due to higher blood volume. She now removes the cap and she uses a sterile pipette to discard the supernatant. Magdalena is now removing the supernatant, leaving the pellet in the bottom of the tube and she will now mix the white blood cells with a small volume of RPMI media. Now she will add fresh RPMI media to, to, to the absolute suspension and there will be one more wash. So I put in me in okay. So Magdalena is preparing the tubes for the counting of the PBMCs. Det är då en stor pellet så då är det 10 jag ska ta bort lite milliliter som jag skakar upp och sen så börjar jag Depending on the size of the pellet, Magdalena estimate makes how much RPM she will use when she dissolves the pellet to give an adequate count of the white blood cells. The white blood cells will be counted automatically in, in an electronic, electronic counter called ADAM. She is preparing the slide that will be used for the counting of the white blood cells in ADAM. Adding the sample into the lines. And this is an electronic device called Adam. Is putting the slide into place, close it, um, Adam is working now. While Adam is doing the counting, Magdalena 
has moved on to prepare the next sample. Där är det för då. Då ska vi ha ner den där resultatet. This is a result of a counting of a PBNC. In total there are 2.7 million cells and we also have the non-viable cells and the viability is 97% which is good. Now Magdalena is doing calculations to estimate how many aliquots there will be from each PBMC tube. It's depending on the amounts of cells. Anything else? Yeah, and the PM medium, the concentration I Magdalena now removes the supernatum and uh, discard it. She dissolves the pellet in a small fraction of the RPMI media and she will add Freezing media A and B to the to the pellet or to the PBMCs. This one I have to take dropper and shake. Yeah. Yeah, the drops, just a little at a time. Yeah. For this addition she will add, add it drop by drop and mix it in between. Now she is aliquoting the suspension into the cryo tubes. Without the bubbles. Magdalena puts the tube into place into the cool cell container. The cool cell container has been pre-chilled in the refrigerator 
and it will take down the temperature uh, slowly, one degree at a time. So that, that is very gentle for the cells. She now puts it in a refrigerator and then she will put it into minus 80 freezer. Yes.